InstaWeather Plus forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. It's fairly typical when you look at the records to get this second tornado season, one in the spring, one in the fall. It's because the cool and the warm air masses are colliding again as the first taste of fall moves south. It kind of triggers these severe storms. The fall season naturally not as severe usually, but this is a pretty decent uh, severe weather storm that's moving east across the Plain States. Right now we're on the warm side of things with temperatures here in the mid 70s, 75 at Middle River right now, 77 degrees over at Chestertown. How about that? Some warm temperatures covering the eastern shore. Even hitting the 80 degree mark at Easton and almost to 80 right now at Cambridge and Salisbury. In the warm air mass, we have cloudy skies, muggy conditions, and some scattered showers, which are mostly to the west of Baltimore now. So you can see they're racing out of Virginia and the Carolinas, moving up toward Hagerstown and staying to the west of Baltimore, at least for now. So for the early evening, not much of a rain threat. Later tonight, these showers will continue to inch a little bit closer. It's even possible a few thunderstorms may inch up out of, say, Virginia into parts of southern Maryland overnight tonight. So for the Baltimore area, 62 to 67 for the low tonight. Our normal low is in the mid 40s, so we're about 20 degrees above that tonight, thanks to those strong southeast winds. A few scattered showers. Sunset this evening at 6:29. Now the center of the storm has made it east of the Mississippi, moving up into Illinois now, and that means skies have cleared out nicely in the Kansas City area. And again, with high pressure building in, they should have some great weather for baseball the next few days. The front trailing down into the Gulf Coast is where the heavy thunderstorms are and there's still a risk of severe storms tonight as close as southwest Virginia into the Carolinas and down into northern Florida. And those showers and storms will be working their way slowly into the Baltimore area tonight and tomorrow with a ribbon of perhaps heavy rain and thunder coming through here tomorrow afternoon. We'll have to track that and see how strong the storms embedded in there are, but you could pick up a brief heavy downpour that could cause localized flooding as those heavy showers are moving through tomorrow afternoon. Now by sunrise on Thursday morning, the bulk of the rain is off the coast, but trailing behind in the upper levels of the atmosphere, part of this system will still trigger a few widely scattered showers Thursday afternoon. After that, skies are expected to clear up nicely, and as we head into Friday and the weekend, some really nice fall weather on tap. So it's a slow moving storm, but it should be out of here by the weekend. 71 to 76 tomorrow, showers and storms are likely. Winds out of the south gusting up to 35 miles an hour. Small craft advisory on the bay for those strong south to southeast winds. And three foot waves. Waves are a lot bigger near this. This is Hurricane Gonzalo getting even stronger now. It is a category three hurricane, a major hurricane with 115 mile an hour winds. And notice the curve of the track. It takes it up very close to Bermuda and it is expected to become a category four storm, a category four hurricane in the next 36 to 48 hours with winds getting as strong as 140 miles an hour. It should start to weaken on its track north, but still could be a major hurricane in the vicinity of Bermuda sometime Friday afternoon. That's well to the east of us, but it's a problem for Bermuda. 74 tomorrow, showers and storms coming in in the afternoon and evening. Rain ending Thursday morning, a partial clearing in the afternoon. Nice looking Friday. Great weather for running on Saturday with a high of 67. And good weather for football on Sunday with temperatures only in the upper 50s. Thank you.